Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of The Cattleman's Wife. I'm Kim, my husband Scott, my son Ransom, and there's our dog Jetty. Of course, it's the three of us, four if you count Jet, on our cow-calf farm here in South Central Kentucky. And so today we're in the shop, and as you can see behind me, we have a major breakdown. I'm going to get Scott to fill you in on some of the details. We've got a 4610 Ferguson. We lost all our hydraulic pressure on it back a week ago. The uh, loader wouldn't work. The lift on the back wouldn't work. It also works the, uh, the hydraulic somehow where it allows it to go forward and backwards. Just everything died on it. Lost the power steering on it. So we was told that it might be the pump shaft on the pump. We took the pump apart. It mounts right here. And it wasn't the pump shaft broke, but the pump was wore real bad on the inside, so we went ahead and ordered a new pump, which I didn't fix the problem. So we thought it might be the, the bell housing here that runs the pump. It ties into the transmission off that main drive gear there. It spins all the time. It creates your pressure. That wasn't the problem, so we put it back on. So that leads us to thinking with a couple guys we talked to, we're gonna to have to split it now. There's a clutch pack that is uh, mounts to the flywheel that runs the whole drivetrain. So we're gonna split it right now and get to that clutch pack. They say the bolts are usually broke on it. So that's that's our next step. We're in the process of doing that. We took all the fuel tanks off, both sides, getting everything ready. We've got all the wires loose, and uh, we've got to get the drive shaft loose from the four-wheel drive part to the transmission, so this will split. That's where we're currently at. So the dealership where we bought the Massey, it was backed up and so we decided to do this ourselves. The guys had to take a lot of the parts off to be able to just fit it into the shop. The top had to come off, they had to fold the ropes down, the muffler had to come off, the loader had to come off. And so quite a bit of disassembling just to get it to fit into the shop, but they've decided to do themselves because this is tractor is hot equipment. We've got to get it back in action. So while the Massey's down, Scott's using the skid steer to feed hay down here. He doesn't really like it. Watch how he has to get in and out. <laughs> There's the problem. Get us another pan. See all the springs and stuff? The clutches. Oh my goodness. Yep. Everything popped apart in there. Now son, watch that uh, thing. It's supposed to be attached to this. Right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's push it on up a little more. Easy next one. Well, we got a crack right here going to the uh, concrete. Might be a problem with the rover. That shaft ain't coming with that, so that didn't work too well. Now 
my heart. Just like old tires that come out wrong wind. We got it separated now. It's uh, what we kind of was thinking it was. All these, uh, this is a clutch pack, is what they call it. This is supposed to be connected to this. It's supposed to slide off and mount to that. It's all sheared all them bolts off. That's what a fellow told me, a neighbor out the road thought it was, so he was right, but it's going to have to have a whole new clutch put on it. So we'll get this off, take it down there to the dealer and get us one ordered. Here's part of it. The spurnings, they all come out of it. We got it separated and had a little trouble. Had one bolt hid there. We couldn't see it. It was under the dash. Talking about right here? That one was holding it. After we popped it out, it come right on out. That's the troublemaker. This is the part that's broke. We'll get it off and uh, order someone tomorrow. It should come right out of that. A little bit of persuasion. Actually, all right, not sheared. So, this is what's left of the clutch pack, laying here on the floor, and here are the springs and stuff that came out of it. So, that's got it broke apart. Now we have to order parts, and I'll come back at you with part two of this series whenever we get the parts and start putting it back together. Thank y'all for watching this episode of The Cattleman's Wife. God bless y'all.